Now let's discuss some techniques for traversing your assemblies in Onshape. The first thing to discuss is hiding and showing parts. One of the easiest ways to hide a part is with the right-click menu. Simply right-click a part from the graphics or instance list and you will see a few hide options. At the very top you will see the option to simply hide. This will hide the part you have selected. To show that part again, you can right-click the part from the instance list and choose show, or you can click the eye symbol from the instance list. In addition to hide, the right-click menu provides other useful hide options. For example, just below hide is hide other instances, which will hide all other parts except the part or parts you have right-clicked on. A great way to quickly be able to focus on a small piece of the assembly. Just below hide other instances, you also have an option to hide all instances. As the name implies this will hide all parts. Another tip is you can right click in the empty space and choose show all instances to bring back all parts. You can also hide and show instances in a group by right clicking the group in the instance list. Final tip for hiding parts is you can use the Y key on your keyboard as a shortcut for hide. Show the parts by hovering over them holding shift plus Y. Another command to keep in mind is isolate. Isolate is very much like hide except parts are not hidden but rather shown in a translucent manner. Isolate also has a neat functionality that will allow you to expand on the selection with a slider. You will find isolate in the right click menu when right clicking a part, parts, or a subassembly. The next thing to discuss is hiding and showing mates and on shape. If you want to see the mates that a certain part has, simply right click that part and show mates. Any mates associated with that part will then show up as icons in the graphics. You can even right click an icon to edit that mate. To hide the mates, simply right click one of the mate icons and choose hide all mates. These hide and show techniques also apply to the group command. If you are a fan of keyboard shortcuts, the J key can be used to hide and show mates. The next thing to mention is mate connectors. If you right click a mate connector, you will see options similar to the option to hide a part. That is hide, hide other, and hide all. As the names imply, you can hide one mate connector, all other mate connectors, or all mate connectors from this right click menu. You can also use the K key as a keyboard shortcut to hide and show mate connectors. Finally, if you want to show everything, instances, mates, Mate connectors all at once, simply right click in the empty space and choose show all. The last thing to mention is opening a part studio from the assembly. So let's say that you are in a complex assembly and you want a fast way to get to the part studio and edit a part. Simply right click that part and you will see the option to switch to and the part studio name. You also have an option to switch to the subassembly if your part belongs to one. Here I'll choose to switch to the Part Studio, and you can see it switches tab to that Part Studio. Also notice the geometry I right-clicked on is still highlighted. So if I have several parts in my Part Studio, it's easy with the part still selected to right-click and choose Hide Other Parts. This is the fastest way to get from assembly to editing a part.